Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just want to welcome you guys to day six. We are doing uh, Conference of Mind, a daily devotional, which is one of my top selling books. Amen. God gave me an assignment and he said pray for, uh, the people of God's minds for 10 days straight. Amen. So it's something significant about the number 10. Amen. That God wants to do in each and every one of our lives. Amen. You know, I believe God is pouring out glory upon us. I believe that, you know, things are, strongholds are breaking off of us. I believe that God is setting the captives free. So many testimonies are coming forth of just the power of God, healing, deliverance, and just the prophetic words. And I just give God praise for that. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and enter in. And after we finish, uh, you know, whatever the Holy Spirit wants to do, then I'll go ahead and open up the line and I'll try to take some prayer requests today at the end. Amen. So bear with me. Um, I just ask if you uh, have background noise, please mute because I don't want to quench the spirit amen i don't want the holy spirit to be grieved amen so a lot of us we have uh things on our 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 heart today we have concerns amen that we want to uh uh put before the lord and i want to prophesy and tell each and every one of us that god will perfect the things that concern you amen that means that whatever you need and whatever you're praying to god for god will perfect it god will work it out concerning you amen he will work it out concerning you you don't have to doubt you don't have to worry you don't have to fall apart some of us are, are sick right now and, 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 and tormented in our minds and being afflicted in, in our physical bodies because we worry about things that are out of our control. And God wants Man. you to know today that you don't have to worry. Amen. That when you Thank present God. your request unto him and say, God, oh, I have this circumstance, and, Lord, this is out of my control, I'll give it to you. And God says, leave it right there on the altar. Leave it right there. Don't pick it back up again. Because when you begin to pick back up the prayer request, you snatch that thing off the altar. And then you allow doubt and worry and fear and unbelief to creep in, and then you want to put your hands in the, the situation. But God is saying today to get your hands off of it. He says, Amen. I got it. Once you give it to me, allow me to work and move mm. on it for on your behalf. Amen? Amen. See, some of us, we are aging prematurely because we're stressed out. And God has never, it's not the will of God for us to be stressed out. It's not the will of God for us to be sick. It's not the will of God for us to be turning and tossing all night because we're stressed out. Amen. Somebody on this call today, you didn't mm. get any sleep last night because you're worried. You're stressed out. And God says, stop worrying about it. God says, go and worship me. God says, Amen. go and get in my presence. God says, go and meditate on my word. Amen. God says, go and find a scripture to stand on and trust Amen. and believe that I will act for you. 
Amen. Somebody Amen. today, right now, you're feeling like you're getting ready to have anxiety attacks. You're feeling like you got heart palpitations, like you're getting ready to have a heart attack. You're feeling like you're getting ready to lose your mind, all because you are worried about something that's out of your control. You're worried about something that you can't change. And God wants each and every one of us to know today that, hey, you don't have the power to change anyone. Amen. Only he can do that. Amen. I'm going to say it again. You don't have the physical power to change anyone. People are going to be people. Amen? Amen. 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 Maybe I'm preaching to myself today on this call. Amen. Amen. That people are going to be people. Mm -hmm. But as you put the person that's getting on your nerves, as you put the person that's on your heart on the altar, amen, and begin to pray, begin to prophesy, begin to speak life into that individual, something has to break, something has to shift. I don't care if a month goes by, a year goes by, amen, that every prayer, request, every prayer that you have spoken over the person, that you are believing God to change, amen, to save and get delivered, I don't care how long it's been that every prayer that you have spoken over out of your mouth that is going to begin come on to work amen. for you amen if you you got amen. to believe it amen you got to stand firm in your your faith amen you got to amen. have a steadfast mind yeah somebody said i'm gonna have a steadfast mind i'm gonna have a steadfast mind i'm gonna have a steadfast mind this means, hey, when my mind is steadfast, leave before the Lord, that means no matter what happens, no matter what it looks like, no matter how I feel, I'm going to believe God through it all. Yes, I, I'm Lord. not going to waver. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to throw in the towel because I don't yes, get Lord. the results that I want immediately. God is looking for some people that has a pushing, amen, in their spirit, that's going to press in their spirit. That's going to say, yes, God, Lord. okay, the enemy has thrown an all-out attack against me, but I'm going yes. to stand in the gap. I'm going to stand yes. up on the wall. I'm not going to leave yes, this post, Lord. God. I don't care if yes. I got to carry all night. I'm going to have a steadfast mind, and I'm going to be unmovable. I'm going to be unshakable. I am unbreakable in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. You got to tell yourself this. Come on. God is tired of his people being double-minded, just being like a a ship on a sea, being talked Mm -hmm. to and fro by every wind and doctrine. God is tired of his people being indecisive, and they can't make a solid decision. They can't even say yes. They can't even say no. ah, Jesus. I want to prophesy a level of boldness upon each and every one of us that our yes will be yes and our no's will be no's and that we'll be able to stand up and believe and fight for something. Amen. Yes, Lord. I want to tell somebody today, you're nobody's punching bag. Oh, Jesus, I felt that day. You're nobody's doormat. Amen. You stand up. And you fight. Amen. Amen. The devil Amen. is not playing around with us. His job Amen. is to kill, kill, and destroy. So why Amen. are you playing around with the devil? Why are you playing Amen. pity pat with the devil today? Why are you Amen. keep doing it? Stand Amen. up and fight. This good fight of faith. Stand Amen. up and take back your thought life. Stand up and cast that devil out of your home. Cast that devil out of your marriage. Cast that devil out of your business. Cast that devil out of your ministry. Put that devil out. Amen. Amen. Come on, when you have a steadfast mind, you're going to begin to tackle the situation differently. That means, hey, I'm not going to go ahead and, and attack this thing from surface level. No, I'm going to cut deep. I'm going to attack it up at the root. God is saying today on this call, it's time for some of us to start uprooting those deep-rooted yes. issues. Yes. yes, thank you, Lord. Some of us, we're walking around here wounded. We got band-aids and just, you know, put ointment on the scars and wounds. Amen. But God wants us to get to the deep-rooted issue. Amen, amen. Oh, my amen. God, Jesus. Amen. We need to get yes, to those Lord. deep-rooted issues. Mm-hmm. Yes, say, okay, I, I'm going to, I'm going to curse the cancer, the source of this issue. 
at the root. And when you begin to tackle something, a problem, amen, at the root, you just uproot that thing, and you don't have to worry about that anymore. Amen. Some of us are going through uh, reoccurring cycles. Amen. The same old demon, the same old circumstances around the mountain, around the mountain, day in Mm -hmm. and day out. But as Mm -hmm. you get to the root of the issue and take it out, come on, your general spirit. I need you to believe it. You are general in the spirit. You are general in the making in the spirit. General takes things out at the root. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. I need you guys to take this a strategy from heaven today. Take mm-hmm. it up out the root. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. Mm-hmm. There's a scripture that says, everything that my heavenly father has not planted, be uprooted. Be Amen. uprooted. Amen. Amen. I'm here to tell you today Amen. that everything that God has not planted in our life, it has to be uprooted. And yes. Jesus saying. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Yes. This is the reason why some of us have not got a breakthrough, have not gotten any manifestation. Amen. Amen. We need to get this thing up at the root. Yes. Amen. I feel some resistance in the spirit. But I come against that now. Devil, you will not stop yeah. me from getting this word out. Amen. Amen. As I'm going forth and ministering this word, I feel some, some, some backlash. I feel some darts trying to be thrown. But we throw those darts back at the devil Amen. today in Jesus', Jesus. name. Because somebody Amen. underneath the sound of my voice is going to yes. get free today. Jesus. God Amen. is saying, Amen, to cut it up at the root. What is Amen. it that's Jesus. bothering you? What is it that got you sore back? What is it? Fear? What is it? Yeah. Perversion? Yeah. What is it? Pride? What is on your mind that, that keeps coming back? Let's cut, a, cut it up at the root. In cut Jesus' it up. name. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I cut it up. Come on. God is looking for some people that's going to stand. Yeah. yeah. That's going to stand and fight. That will not be wavered by what they see or what they Amen. feel. Yeah. God is looking for some people that has a made up mind. Yeah. To say, yeah. God, I'm going to serve you. God, I don't care who walks away. God, mm-hmm. I don't care who don't even like it or agree with my Amen. calling or assignment. God mm-hmm. is looking for some people. Yes, Lord. Yes, Thank Lord. you. That will Thank not you, be shaken. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. See, you got to know that no matter what, you're coming out victoriously. Yes. Stop thinking on defeat. That's a word for somebody on this call. Stop thinking about defeat. You're not defeated. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm going to say it again. You are not defeated. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Amen. you. Everything that you're going through right now is just a stepping stone. Yes. It's just yes. a, a, another dimension to your testimony. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Everything you're going through right now, everything. Because mm-hmm. everything that you're going through is not in vain with God. It's not in vain. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Stop thinking it's over for you. Stop thinking that God has forgotten about you. Stop thinking Thanks. just the wrong thing. Stop it. Oh, Come on. Amen. Tell yourself Thank that you are in a new Jesus. season. I'm in a Expect new season. Lessons. Expect miracles. Expect yes. God yes. to do the miracles day in and day out. Yes. Glory. Yes, Jesus. Amen. 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 God is raising up. Come on, a royal priesthood unto himself to set yes. some standards in this earth while upholding yes. his word. Amen. Amen. God is Amen. looking for someone who has the fear and in awe of him. They have the fear of the Lord in their hearts and minds. Mm-hmm. He's looking for a remnant right now that will not compromise. Yes. Amen. Are you part Amen. of that remnant? Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody lay hands on your head today and say, I'm going to have a mind that's going to please God. 
I'm, I'm going to have, have a mind, mind that's, that's going to please God. God. Amen. 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 When you when you doubt, when you doubt God, you cannot say you have a, a good relationship with him. Amen. That's like a slap in his face. I'm here to tell somebody that today. That's a slap in his face. See, when you have a good relationship with God, you're going to trust him with all of your heart, all of your mm-hmm. soul, and all of your mind. Mm-hmm. When you, I don't, listen to me. Somebody's been on here on this call right now. You're facing depression and discouragement because you're caught up in what you see. You're comparing yourself to others, to other people's blessings. Get up out of that cycle. That is a, 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 a trap from the devil to make mm-hmm. you compare yourself to someone else. Yes. Amen. When you have a good relationship with God, you're going to trust him day in and day out. Say, oh, God, but though you slay me, I trust you. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, it don't feel good to my flesh, but I trust you. Yes, yes. Oh, God, I got to go through this process. Oh, I don't understand everything, but I trust you. Mm-hmm. And this is a part of growing. Amen. I want to prophesy you're going to get history with God on another level. Some of you, you thought you knew God. Amen. But I want to mm-hmm. prophesy that you're going to get to know him on another level. Thank if you want to get history with God. Amen. So what does that mean when you get history with God? That means, hey, when the bill comes. You're not worried about it because you say, okay, God, I got history with you. You paid this bill off in the past. You can do it again. This bill is no different. Okay, God, you know I got a bad report. Amen. You did it for me in the past. You blessed me with a good report. I ain't worried about this bad report. Okay, God, I got this deadline, this budget. Amen. And you did it before. You can definitely do it again. Amen. This is is all about having history with God. Yes. Yes. See, some of us, we've been thinking the wrong way all alone. We've been thinking like, oh, Lord, not again. Oh, God, woe is me. Oh, God, why do I got to suffer? Oh, God. And you begin to have that that, that the complaining spirit. Mm-hmm. Do you know that your complaining spirit will prolong your wilderness process? That complaining spirit will keep you in the desert even longer. You'll be like the children of the Israelites. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be like that and, and be no. uh, in, in the desert longer. Mm-mm. Get up out of that complaining spirit. Yes. Amen. Amen. I want to prophesy, and I just come against every fiery dart. Amen. And she's somebody's getting free today. Yes. Amen. Somebody's Hallelujah. getting free today. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. I want to yes. prophesy. You're going to get a new perspective of of how you think. You're going to get a new perspective. Amen. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Lord. God is getting to the deep-rooted issues, the issues in our soul, the yes. issues in in our minds, the secret things that we haven't even told anyone about. God is going to get to those deep-rooted issues if you allow yes. him to. Yes, Lord. Because that stinking thinking cannot go with us to our next level, to our next season. Amen. You you can't think. You I'm telling you, you can't have a wilderness mentality, amen, to go and walk through a door, break through that. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Amen. Amen. Come up out of that. Yes. God, we thank you, Father God. Lord, we thank you, Father, that our thoughts will please you. God, we thank you, God, that each and every person today will have a made-up mind to stand for you, God, to live for you, God, to seek you as never before. Mm -hmm. God, I decree and declare that our mind is stayed on you today and our faith will not be shaken. That's what the enemy wants to steal your faith. Amen. So you can't produce those things that you believe in God for. Yes. Lord God, I just pray today, God, Lord, that we will no more compromise. Somebody's yes. been compromising. Somebody's been going back and forth. And somebody's saying on this call today, this is hard. 
I don't I don't even want to be saved anymore. You will not go back to the bottle. You will you not go right. to sex. Come on, I don't care how stressed out you are. Amen. Amen. You will not turn to food. Come Amen. on, you will not overeat. Amen. Come on, the devil is a liar. Somebody's Amen. saying, Oh, I want to get some ice cream therapy. Come on, get up out of that. Amen. 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 Ice cream therapy. Come on. <laughs> Renew your mind. Yeah. I'm, I'm for real. Somebody laughing, but I'm so serious. I heard that in the spirit. Every time you get, every time something happens, you want to go get a bucket of ice cream and just eat. Come on. It's not the will of God. I break you know. off for you. In the name of Jesus. Come on. And some, this is real life. This mm-hmm. is not a game. People are hurting on this call. People need deliverance yeah. on this call. Amen. We, we mm-hmm. need help. Amen. There's someone on this call today. You, you're getting ready to backslide. You say, God, I'm tired of this suffering. But I have a word for you. If you share in the sufferings of Christ Jesus, you get to reign with him. Yeah. The word of God tells us to endure hardness as, as a good soldier. Come on. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, that we're going to serve you with our whole heart, soul, and mind. Lord God. We thank you, Father God, that our ways, God, will please you, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Somebody on this call today, you think that you can't do it. You say, God, it's too hard. I can't. Stop saying that you can't when God already told you that you could. Amen. How do you know that God already told you that you could? Because he showed you. He gave you a vision. He gave you a dream. It's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. It's, it's, it's going to happen. Amen. Don't Amen. miss out Amen. on what God has for you because uh, uh, of doubt. Okay. It's going to happen. Oh, yeah. You know why it's not happening? Because you're trying to do things in your own strength. So only God mm-hmm. can bring it to pass. Amen. 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 Only God can bring that thing to pass. That's true. Amen? Amen. It's going to happen. That there are promises over your life. Somebody stop thinking that you're cursed. You're not cursed. You are Mm -hmm. blessed and highly favored of the Lord. Amen. That should not even be in your vocabulary as a child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Come on. The scripture says, the one who hung himself on, the one who hung the one who hung on the tree took our curses up for us. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Mm-hmm. He died on the cross for our sins. Jesus. Mm-hmm. He became a curse for us so we could receive the blessing. Jesus yes. did all of this for us. You are not cursed. Stop thinking like that. Stop thinking like, stop thinking that the worst is going to happen. Stop it. Amen. Learn to see the Amen. positive in certain circumstances. Because when you start thinking negatively, don't you know you radiate energy in the spirit realm? And those mm. demons will pick up on that. And they'll kick you down. They'll kick you while you're already down. Mm. And then, that, then, then, then suicide comes in. And mm. a, a host of seven other spirits worse than the first one will come along. Mm. Get up out of that. Somebody's thinking like that today. Somebody think, somebody's thinking today on this call. It will never happen for them. The devil is a liar. You tell your, yes. you, you decree it before you even see something. Amen. Mm-hmm. You call those things that be not as if they were. And say, yes. God, I decree and declare, God, one day, that's going to be me. One day, mm-hmm. I'm going to have yes. this. One day, I'm going to have that. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. If you are a visual person today, key to these instructions, amen, you need to create a, a, a vision board, or you can start looking at magazines, amen, of something that you desire. If you desire mm-hmm. to get married, you need to put that stuff in your spirit. You know, mm-hmm. there's some people on here, you are saying, God, when is my spouse coming? Amen? Amen. Amen. You need to get you a vision board. You mm-hmm. need to start doing your research, someone, amen? Amen. You need to start. Praying for divine connections, for God to mm-hmm. connect you with people that you that you want to go to, amen, or where you want to go. 
that's, that's, Amen. That's, that's on a position that you want to get to on that level. Amen. As long as you have hope inside of you, amen, you can work that faith. You can work your That's faith. Right. Mm-hmm. Don't lose hope today, says God. Don't lose hope. Amen. Amen. He's the God of all hope. He wants to strengthen you with hope today and tell yes. and telling you right now that it's not hopeless. Somebody got mm-hmm. on this call today and you felt that it was hopeless. It's not hopeless. Stop looking mm-hmm. at your age. Stop looking at your mm-hmm. credentials, your qualifications. Stop looking mm-hmm. at your flaws. They don't even matter with God. That's right. They don't even matter. Don't you know mm-hmm. God is raising up the underdog? Don't you know God mm-hmm. is raising up the underachiever? Don't you know that yes. God is, is picking people with no face, no name? Don't you know God, yes. he, yes. He, he, he uses the weak things of the world to confound the mighty? Yes. That's Come right. on. He uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise? Mm-hmm. Come on. Stop mm-hmm. thinking that, oh, I'm not the best looking, I'm not the smartest. That doesn't even matter with God. God will put That's an right. anointing upon you that will Amen. change your life. God will put yeah. favor upon you that will generate and magnetize the blessings that you're believing for. Amen. But it starts in your mind. Yeah, you you got to believe it in your mind. Mm-hmm. Catch this. If you don't believe it in your mind then it will never happen for you. Amen. So I'm here today to 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 pray that you will change your thought life. Amen. So you can get some manifestations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you believe you're going to be broke all your life, you're going to be broke. That's true. If you believe you're going to die early, you're going to die early. Mm-hmm. Amen. If you believe Amen. that, you know, nothing good's going to happen for you, nothing good ain't going to happen for you because you believe that. But when you begin mm-hmm. to start thinking the opposite, things begin to shift. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Because so you're charging up your faith. Amen? Amen. Come on. God is taking us to another yes. level. Yes. Hallelujah. He's taking us to another level. Amen. Amen. And we want to get to the place where we just want to please God with every fiber within our being. Mm-hmm. This means you got to cut at the root. Here we go back to the root again. Holy Spirit's taking me here. Mm-hmm. Cut off the source of the negativity. Cut off That's the right. source of the doubt. Cut off mm-hmm. the source of the fear. Cut off the source of the unbelief. Just like a TV. You got to unplug it sometimes from the wall. Amen. Mm-hmm. Disconnect it. Mm-hmm. Come on. Doubt can't go where God's taking us. Pride, wrong mm-hmm. mindset can't go where God is taking us. That's right. Amen. Amen. See, listen. Some of us, you lost your prayer life. I am parting to you the spirit of prayer right now. Yeah. I want to prophesy after this call today. That the Holy Spirit will arrest you. You can't get enough of prayer and fasting. Every time I prophesy that, somebody come back to me like, Prophetess, I've been fasting ever since. I've been praying. I couldn't, I couldn't, I can't stop praying. And then mm-hmm. you'll get your prayer Amen. like that. Amen. You're going to get a strategy. And God's going to show you how to war against those distractions. Mm-hmm. Some people today, after the day, you're going to begin to laugh at those distractions. Because you're going to say, mm-hmm. the enemy, he, he just... He's just so pitiful. He's trying to try his best to, to get my mind off of Jesus. But I see the enemy's tactics. And you'll begin to laugh at him through the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Amen. Ghost. Amen. Amen. Come on. Some of us can't even do what you're called to do because you're so distracted. Right. Your mind is on everything else except for Jesus, mm-hmm. except for your calling Amen. and your assignment. That's true. Amen. Come on. I want to prophesy a victory. Come on. We yes. will walk in victory wherever we go. Yes. Amen. Amen. Don't worry about the, the lack of support. It's coming. We all got to yes. go through seasons where there's no support. Amen. Can I be honest? It's just a season. Mm-hmm. Be faithful over the little things. Amen. And God will make you rule over much. Amen. Don't worry about the finances. We all got to go through seasons where things get dry. Be faithful Amen. with the little bit you have. Amen. And God Amen. will increase it. 
Amen. Amen. We all got to go through a season of being overlooked. Amen. Be faithful. Uh, 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 just being overlooked and feeling rejected. Amen. And God is going to elevate you. Amen. Amen. You got to tell yourself, this is just a process. This is something I got to go through, but I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it in mm-hmm. Jesus' name. God's going to pull me out any day now because he says yeah. he knows how to rescue the godly from the trout. God mm-hmm. says he knows how to save his anointed, and I am God's anointed. So it's just a matter of time before the hand of the Lord pulls me out. This is how you got to think. Amen. You're so focused on what's not happening when you fail to even realize what is happening. What has Amen. happened so far since you've been in the wilderness? What has mm-hmm. happened so far since you've been in the storm? Number one, mm-hmm. you learn how to pray. Number two, you learn how to fast. Number three, mm-hmm. you learn how to get a hold of God. Come on, somebody. Number Amen. four, you got some anointing on your life that you did not have before. Amen. So you got to realize what is happening. See, the devil will try to get you so distracted, you can't even focus on what, you know, what is what, what God is doing. That's right. Amen. Come on. See, you're asking God for glory. You're asking God to break you. You're asking God to crush you when you pray for when you, when you pray for glory. Oh. Amen. You're asking God for a closer relationship, but you're not even yeah. realizing, Amen. That sometimes all hell has to break loose for you to, to to get a closer relationship because God is close to the brokenhearted. But guess what? That's he right. binds up all their wounds. Wounds. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yes, Lord. So you got to get a new mindset today. Amen. Mm-hmm. And you got to know without a shadow of a doubt that God is working mm-hmm. on each and every one of our behalf, despite of yeah. what it looks like, despite of what Amen. it feels like, despite Amen. of what that devil is telling you today. I'm here as a prophet of God to tell you that God is moving all heaven and, and earth on your behalf. Yes. Amen. You got to believe it today. That's right. Blessed are you if you believe the things that God has spoken to you, his promises. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Come on. Lay hands on your head today. You're going to get to the root of some issues today. Lay hands. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, uproot. The demonic source of that is trying to hinder my blessings in Jesus' name. God, uproot, God, the source of my pain in Jesus' name. God, uproot, God, the source of my trouble in the name of Jesus. God, uproot, the source of my bondage today in the name of Jesus. God, uproot, right now, anything that's not of you in the name of Jesus. Somebody lay, somebody lay hands on your, your, your belly today. Lay hands on your belly today. Come on, don't hold him back. Amen. God, a root of deep soul issues in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, yes. you got stuff that's planted in you three to four generations back, stuff that your ancestors dealt with, your grandparents yes. dealt with. Uproot the pride, God. Uproot the murder spirit. Uproot the revenge, yes. God. Uproot yes. the rebellion, God. Uproot that fornication, God. Uproot yes. that adultery, God. Uproot that lust, God. Uproot, come on. Uproot the stubbornness, God. Uproot yes. that offense, God. Uproot those grudges, God. Uproot, come on, that hate, that bitterness, that yes. awful, yes. that anger. Uproot that stuff, God. Out of yes. each and every one of us. That abuse. Yes. That trauma. Yes. Uproot yes. that mess now. In the name yes. of Jesus. Jesus. Uproot, come on. That control, that manipulation. Yes. Uproot that mess, God. Right now, yes. in the name of Jesus. In the name come of on, Jesus. keep laying hands on your belly. Don't take your hands off your belly yet. Keep laying hands. Oh, God, come, Lord God. Come like a yes. mighty Russian wind, God. Heal yes. our souls, God. Touch us yes. down from the inside out, God. Transform yes. us more to the image of your son, Jesus, God. Transform us, God, more to your likeness, oh, God. Oh, God, yes. do a deep work, God, deep within our souls today, yes, God. God. Oh, God, there's some people that's burdened on this call, God. Lift every burden up right now in the name of Jesus. The there's some people, Jesus. God, that don't even trust you, God. There's some people that's operating in their own spirit, God. Deliver us and set us free today. Yes, in, the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that the Son of Righteousness will come with healing in His wings and touch. Touch. Yes. 
touch each and every one of us, God, in your peace, in your fire, your joy right now upon us. Somebody right now, just lift hands. Everybody lift hands right now and say, God, fill me up. God, fill me up, up, God. Ah. Fill me up, God. Fill me me up, God. Fill me up, God. A Give me a fresh indwelling of the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit God. Fresh indwelling of your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Give me a fresh indwelling of the Holy Spirit today. Yes, fill me up, Jesus. Give me a fresh indwelling of your Holy Spirit, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank I feel the Spirit Lord. of God hallelujah, hallelujah, and people's hallelujah. bellies in here. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. I felt dew from heaven drop like hallelujah, rain hallelujah, dropping. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on. Thank I want to prophesy hallelujah, that hallelujah. heaven is making us do on our dry places. Hallelujah. Some of us been feeling dry. But as you press in into the presence of God today, yes. amen, you're going to leave renewed and refreshed. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, forget about your surroundings, amen, and press in. Hallelujah. you got to break past Hallelujah. that flesh barrier, amen, yes. and press in into the presence of God because the yes. Spirit of God is here on this call today. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Where two or three Thank gathered, God. God is in the midst. He yes, is yes, here sir. today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank he you. He is Lord. here today. Yes, He's God. waiting with open yes. arms. He's waiting for you to put it all down at the cross. He's waiting. Amen. For you to say, God, I, I'm going to press in and trust you. I may not yes. understand everything, but I'm going to trust you. I'm yes. going to have a made up mind, a steadfast mind, and trust you. Yes, God. Thank you. He Lord. is waiting. Amen. Yes. Somebody's Hallelujah. getting ready to get a breakthrough today. Amen. You've been Hallelujah. waiting on phone calls. You've been waiting on a message to come across. Amen. As you trust God, God will make it happen for you. Amen. Somebody's facing an eviction notice. Amen. As you trust God, God will uh, bless you in that area. Amen. Somebody's believing hard. See somebody in jail or something. You're believing for someone to get released. As you trust God, God will make it happen for you. Amen. To release it hard. Somebody, come on. You got a sick child. You're believing healing for your child. As you trust Trust God. God will heal your child. Come on, somebody. Amen. Somebody's believing God to go back to school. Amen. You're saying, God, I don't even know how this is going to get funded. There's so much opposition. As you trust God, God will yes. make it happen for you. Amen. Yes, God. Somebody's Hallelujah. believing God. Come on. To pay off their car note. Because you say, God, I want to get out of debt. Oh, God. This is the only thing that I owe. If you trust God, God will bring increase to your life to get you up out of Thank debt. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Somebody's believing God to restore their credit score. Amen. Yes, As to trust God, God, God will cause you to get approved. Amen. Yes. Of everything that you need. Amen. Yes, it's not in the name will of God for, each, for us to have lack. Yes. Hallelujah, God. Are you Thank you, Lord. Good morning. Hallelujah. Somebody's believing God to get pregnant today. Amen. Someone to somebody, a, a, a married couple. Amen. As you trust God, God will open up your womb and bless you guys to conceive. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. God loves you. Amen. Amen. He loves you. Don't get anything from this call today. He loves you. Amen. Amen. He's crazy about you. Amen. And this is day number six. And there's so much more we can say about our, our thought life. There's so much more. Amen. But the Lord... The Lord, this is on yes. his heart, yes. his heart for us to renew our yes. minds, his heart yes. for us to think the right thought. It was on his heart yes. for us to do this, for us to come together like this, to touch and agree so you can get everything that he has for you, so you can, have, so you can walk in the full capacity of the things that he's calling you to. It's yes. on his heart for you. God yes, loves Lord. you. Yes. He is crazy about you. He wants the Hallelujah. best for you. He yes, wants to Lord. see you win. He wants to see you succeed. He wants to see you make it. He is your biggest fan. Yes, he is. He is your Hallelujah. biggest support system. Mm-hmm. That's why you got to have the right mindset. Are you going to jack it up if you don't? Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Well, I feel the presence of God on here. Let's give God praise for what He what He has done today. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We shift. Thank you Amen. Today, God. Hallelujah, God. Thank, Hallelujah, God. God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You Thank you for your presence, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for the living, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. If someone has a, a, a praise report about today, before I start taking prayer requests, let's be in order. If someone has a testimony of something about today's call, you can go forth now. I don't want nobody asking for prayer because I want to open up soon for that. Amen. I just want testimony because I want to seal what God has done and what he's doing with a testimony. Amen. So if you have a testimony, please come forth now, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I just have a testimony about when you just praying, you were telling us to lay hands on our belly and just uh, God just uprooting all of the mess, the junk, the, um, and I just felt a fire guy in my belly, and then I just felt the wind in my Yes, Lord. God, we thank you, God, for the fire. Amen. The fire in your way. That's powerful. Amen. 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 That's so powerful. Anyone else? Hello, it's Angela. Um, when he was praying about, uh, I'll write to you. Um, when he was praying about um, that someone had stayed up for all last night, um, I wasn't worried or anything. I was having... um. Um, hot like um, night sweats. I was just sweating all over from head to toe, and then um, but when it was time to get up for it, 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 when I would drop off to sleep, then it started again, and I have to and it wake me up. So I got up um when it when it was time for the prayer. I had had my phone set for five forty five, so I got up and got went on there and got in there for prayer. And I was we was getting to start speaking in tongues, and and it dropped in my spirit that when I when I'm having those uh uh hot flashes or night sweats like that, just and since I'm not gonna sleep anyway, just get on up and go in the prayer room and start and just pray since I'm gonna be up anyway. I might as well pray the rest of the you know, pray the the rest of the night. And I also wanna encourage someone about you said do the work about something like for like for a home. Um I was listening to um Gloria Copeland one one day I think it was around in 2014, and she was saying God was showing her that she was He was gonna give her a home. He said, but she would get. She got her big old um, notebook, and she took in the books. She started cutting out pictures like what she wanted in a kitchen, how to decorate. You know what she how she want a kitchen decorated, how she want a living room decorated, how she want a bathrooms decorated, and all her bedrooms decorated. She was just cutting out pictures and putting it in his book. So I started doing that, and I mean. It didn't happen right then. It was like four years later, which is in, was in 2018 when we when we got our home. But I still believe I kept go to that book and I still find me little magazine. I kept adding stuff to it, you know, and, and believing God, you know, and and He made it happen. in in June of 2018, we moved in into our home. So I mean, I just want to encourage somebody. It, I mean, it, it worked for Glory Copeland and it worked for me. I know it'll work for you, you know. Amen. 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 It's powerful. Amen. That's awesome. Amen. So let me go ahead and do the Q&A now. Amen. So I think you just push star six and then one, I think, to get through. Right. 
star six and one. If you would like prayer. All right, your last four is 5817. What is your name? Hello, my name is Kalunga. Okay. How are you doing today, and how can I pray for you? Yeah, um, I had I had a dream. It was a, like a strange dream, and then I felt like I had a hand laid on, on my head. And I woke up from that. It's like I almost felt it physically. So I was wondering what, what exactly. What kind of dream was it? I mean, was it demonic presence, angelic presence? Um, in the dream, it was like a man of God had laid his hand on him. Did you recognize the man of God? Was it an angel? It was. Um, it, it seemed like it was Jonathan uh, Ferguson. Sound like it was who? Uh, Jonathan Jonathan Ferguson. Amen. So whenever you get dreams like that, you know, um, I don't know if you listen to him or not, but you need to go, I guess God wants you to listen to him. Go connect. Sorry, so I had dreams funny. where, I said whenever you have dreams, I don't know if you follow Jonathan Ferguson or not. I don't know if you listen to his ministry, but whenever like a person of God comes in your dreams like that, or you get a dream or something like that, that means God's telling you to connect with them at some kind of level. And maybe you need to listen to him or connect because maybe it's something that God wants to do through that connection in your life. Okay. So I would say to connect. Okay, yeah, I signed up for one of his courses. I'm following his course and then that happened. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And I know sometimes like we have uh you know, uh our our spirits can do that too. You know, God can use us you know, and this is deeper level teaching, but God can use us in our dreams as we sleep. Our spirits are not sleeping. Our physical bodies are, but you, your spirits can uh, do assignments as well. Like, for example, people have told me, they said they have seen me, like, in their rooms and things like that, and I was praying for them to be healed and things. And I'm asleep, you know, but I have got an inbox like that. So I guess while I'm sleeping, you know, my spirit man is still working, doing the work. So, I mean... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I just say stay connected, and maybe, you know, God wants to give you some kind of impartation through that ministry. Okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, caller, 7478. Yes, yeah, me. Harry. Harry, how you doing, Harry? All right, how you doing? Good. How can I pray for I you today? Just, yeah, I was wanting to get prayed for, uh, all for direction and guidance and which way I'm supposed to go. I've, I've uh, attended a couple of churches, and the last couple of churches I attended, both of them closed their doors. So I'm kind of like, like I guess you would say in the wilderness, not knowing which way I'm supposed to go now. Yeah, let's just pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I just pray right now that you open my eyes. And bless me to see his heart, Father God, the things that's on uh, his heart, Father God. Oh, Holy Spirit, I ask you, Lord, to fill my mouth up, God, um, so I can speak to your vessel. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Lord God, I thank you, God, for his life. I thank you, God, for strength. Uh, I just feel a, a spirit of rejection, and God wants to come uh, and, and set you free from that rejection. Sometimes you want to blame yourself and uh, and feel like you are the reason why people reject you or why people cut you off. But God is saying, don't blame yourself, my child. Don't blame yourself. Amen. And God's going to cause you to have a new perspective on how you even see yourself. Amen. And even now you're waiting for God to supernaturally connect you. And I hear usher in the spirit. Amen. Like God will cause you to do some ushering or like kind of like just greeting people because uh, you got a great personality and you're so full of love and you love the people of God. But even as you're waiting, this is a time of preparing and getting even closer to God so you can be able to hear the voice of God. Um, to be able to hear his voice and even study the word, study, 
study to show yourself approved uh, to the Lord. Amen. And God is going to increase your, your discernment level where you'll be able to discern uh, the wolf in the sheep's clothing because in the past you have gotten hurt. That's the reason why you are not in church right now because you got some church hurt. Amen. Because you weren't able to discern the wolf in the sheep's clothing. You weren't able to discern the, the motives of people's hearts. But God is going to cause you to have a, a greater level of discernment where you'll be able to recognize that. So God is telling you, Harry, to study my word, study the word, amen, and show yourself approval to him, amen. Um, God, I just thank you, Father God. Um, God, just lead him to the right uh, to the right congregation where you can get planted and grow. Amen. And do me a favor, Harry. Just lay hands on your belly right now. Just lay your hands. Right. Just praying for God for activation. Uh, like, God, I, I want to prophesy, and God, I told, I was told before about a gift of healing in my life, but I don't see any fruit. So I just pray right now that every spiritual gift inside of you that's dormant to stare up and be activated right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, God, that all this, uh, the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit will be stirred up and activated now in the name of Jesus. Is anything wrong with your, uh, your, is your, are you having pain in your right shoulder? Uh, no, not the right shoulder. I've been having pain in my left knee. Your left knee? My left okay. knee. Well, okay, so, uh, somebody on here is having pain in your right shoulder. Don't, don't go anywhere, amen. We, we're going to. I'm gonna. God wants me to heal that right quick. Hold on a second. I just break this pain off this right shoulder. I feel in the name of Jesus. I command you to be healed right now in Jesus' name. I speak a release. If you just get up and move, I just feel it uh, releasing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, so your feet. Let me pray for your feet. Amen. What's going on with your feet? Oh, myself. Yes, Mr. Harry. Yes, your feet. My feet. Uh. Nothing. I don't have. Well, I have a soreness in my in my right toe. Sometimes okay. my big toe, but I think that's due to my diabetes. Okay, let's pray for that. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we curse the strong man of of diabetes at the root. In the name of Jesus, be bonded up. And command that thou spirit to come up off this man of God right now. God, by your stripes, he is healed right now of diabetes. You come against all attacks in his limbs. You come against attacks of on his body and his toes, Lord God, and his digits. You come against attacks right now in his body in the name of Jesus. You command the seven pain to break. We speak to his pancreas, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that he'll have the right, uh, the cells, Lord God, to regulate the sugar like it's supposed to do. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen. And the Lord says, my son, I'm going to strategically order your steps, and I speak to you at the timing of the right ministry you're, you're supposed to go to. Matter of fact, there's someone that you actually follow on social media where they have a church, and the Lord is uh, he's going to lead you to connect with that minister. I don't know who you're following, but it's someone that you already follow on social media, and, you know, um, God will show you how to connect and, and how to go about that. In Jesus' name, but that's all I got. All right. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Felicia Jackson, you there? Um, yes, I am. Okay. I Are you still in pain? Because I called you out yesterday, the the back pain, and I think it was the wrist. You said it was yeah, you. It was my, is it, is yeah. It, is, it, is, it, is it still hurting right now? Uh, yes, it is. I'm at work, so I'm, like, trying to move around and do my oh. job at the same time because my life ain't okay. at 1 o'clock. Well, okay, let me, let me just pray. Okay. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we break off seven pain right now in the name of Jesus. We come against the reoccurring back pain. We curse it at the real roots right now in the name of Jesus. We curse the, the pain in her wrist and her, her hand right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, God, by your stripes, she is healed. I send forth the fire, God, to touch right now in the name of Jesus. I prophesy as she sleeps. Oh, God, that she'll be able to have a good night's sleep. I feel the pain. Is it more in the, your lower back? Is that where is that? Yes. Is yes. it more your lower back? I, I yes. start to feel it. And Father God, I curse the low back pain right now. I, I break the stubborn spirit off in the name of Jesus. 
I break it off. I break it. 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 Right now, in the name of Jesus, and God, I thank you that you are touching right now. You are touching right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you, Lord, that you are touching right now in the name of Jesus. And do me a favor. Can you just kind of roll your shoulders? And just kind of, if you can just bend over and just try to touch your toes. Or if, I know you're probably sitting down. If you could just kind of, you no, know, I like to kind of Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I know that's right. Just, I'm, I'm going to get my breakthrough. I thought yeah, it was fire going there. Good. What do you feel? You start to feel, I start to feel warmness and kind of like, not my tailbone area, but the lower part. I just. I feel warmness too. Amen. God, we thank you. Lord, we come yes, against backlash, Lord. retaliation in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, Father God. Lord, that from this day forward, Lord, she'll never have these problems again. God, I speak yes. a miracle, create a miracle on her body right now. And God is uh, just shifting some things around. Amen. You start to feel the effects of old age sometimes. And I'm not saying yes. you're old, but sometimes you say, God, I started to feel old, you know, and yes. you're not going to feel mm-hmm. that anymore in the name thank of Jesus. You. And God, I thank you. I don't care if it's raining. You know, you will not feel no arthritis or symptoms of arthritis yes. in the name of Lord. Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you yes. for this miracle. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Prophetess. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I receive it in the name of Jesus. Xavier? Hey, Prophetess, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How can I proceed today? I was listening on the call. Thank you for everything that you were speaking. I was receiving it. Um, I want to call in and ask for prayer, um, just kind of like unspoken prayer requests because it's just a lot that I've been going through and dealing with. And, I mean, I really just don't understand what direction God has me going in. <clears throat> you know, it's like people have spoken stuff to me, and it's like, I don't know, it's like there's something that it's like the opposite is happening. Like the odds are just yeah. against me, and I don't understand, like, you know, why I can't really pray like I need to and read. It's just... I don't I don't know the place that God has me in. It's like I'm just kind of lost. And then also pray mm-hmm. for God to lead me and my wife to a ministry. We're going to be shifting to Virginia now. We got orders to go to oh, Virginia. Oh, wow. So, yeah, what so part of Virginia? Got, um, Hampton, Virginia. That's where the base is okay. at. My, my apostle it's, stays there, and I go up there sometimes to his meetings, but um, I don't – he doesn't have a church, but I know several people that's on the call, um, and – uh, I'll ask them and I'll search around and they yes, they said ma'am. they had a hard time too but some of them go to church too so I try to connect yes, you. Um, okay. But that's amazing. I have family in Hampton. Oh my God. Okay. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Amen. Look at God. Amen. That's yes, military ma'am. life right here. I tell you. Yes, ma'am. That's amazing. Amen. But I just want to encourage you before I pray that you know when we get a prophetic word you know the enemy fights that word. He doesn't want it, want it to come to pass. You know, just like yeah. Pharaoh, uh, God told Moses, he gave him a promise to, you know, go deliver the, his people, the Lord's people. But Pharaoh kept fighting. He was resisting. He was stubborn. Amen. Yeah. So whew, that's kind of how it is sometimes with the prophecy. And why does God give us prophecies? Because it's to encourage us so we can hold on and have hope when the opposite yeah. is happening. So this is why we have to war with our prophecies. You got so many prophecies over your life. You got to war with our prophecies and say, "Okay, God, Lord, you said this. I'm gonna believe it." You told Apostle Paul told Timothy to rage a good warfare with his prophecies. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna fast and I'm gonna pray out every single prophetic word. And that's what we have to do sometimes. Amen. And the reason why the enemy fights you in your prayer walk is because you're so anointed in your prayer walk. When I watched you, I was like, oh, my God, he's sitting on all that anointing? Like, what? this is Xavier? You know, so I had to share your broadcast. I had to. I got on that. And you don't know, you know, that night I was going through. And your broadcast wow. broke something off of me. Amen. So that's wow. why the enemy, he, he, he fights you in that area, try to silence your mouth mm-hmm. and your prayers because, you know, 
your, your, your praise is a weapon. Your, your mouth is a weapon. Mm-hmm. Amen. So that's why he tried to resist you, especially uh, prophetic people. You know, uh, the enemy, he hates mm-hmm. prophecy. He hates prophecy. He hates, he hates yes. us. Mm-hmm. You yes, know, ma'am. so that's of course he's going to fight you and, and attack you. Amen. But this is, you have to learn how to fight. You have to learn how to, to raise a good warfare, and he has to bow down. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will mm-hmm. flee. You got to learn how to set your atmosphere. Worship. Worship. Mm-hmm. And you got to keep that worship going. Amen. When I was going through, and I felt like uh, when witches would try to attack me and things, stupid stuff mm-hmm. like that, just dealing with witches, you know, mm-hmm. I said, uh-uh, I'm stepping on my consecration level. And guess what? Right. You know, if that witch is praying three hours, I'm praying six hours, you know. Jesus. So that's that. So I begin to step up my consecration, and I don't get attacks like that, you know. And uh, the only reason why I probably, get, you know, face something like that is because God is advancing me to a new level, and you're on a new level, and, you know, to whom is given much more is required. So you have to, you know, pray in your heavenly language throughout the day, you know, and worship. That's and one I'm of telling you, if you got to... Mm-hmm. That's, I'm sorry, that's one of the things that I've been even struggling with, like, my heavenly language, I'm usually, like, fluently in that and flowing, and that's, it's something that's, even with that, I'm like, now, like, when I go to pray my heavenly language, it's not, it's like it's not even the same, it's like, it, it, to me, it just seems like something has come to shut me out from the spiritual things, and like, and I was questioning God, I was like, Lord, has your Holy Spirit, has your Spirit left me, like, what is it, because it's like mm-hmm. I can't, you know, Absolutely feel His not. presence, I can't. I can't hear him. I'm like, God, what is it? I keep asking him, and, you know, it's just been quiet. So, But I've been holding on. Good. Keep holding on. Amen. Let's let's just go ahead and pray. Okay. Amen. You okay. see the fresh indwelling. Amen. Just lift hands up. And if you're feeling like he's feeling, you know, I want you to lift hands up, too, and receive this for yourself. Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh, God, I pray that your presence will fall down afresh and touch each and every one of us, Father God. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, I ask you to fill up the Xavier, God. Touch him, God, from the inside out, Father God. Touch him, oh, God, deep within his soul, God. Oh, God, I just come against confusion on his mind. Oh, God, I come against the serpentine spirit that would try to uh, steal his thoughts and and try to confuse his mind. We come against that now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I ask you, Lord, that that you touch him right now in the name of Jesus and give him a fresh touch. God, anoint him, God, with new wine and new wine begins to go with the new wine. God, oh God, I thank you, Father God, that you are touching him, God, and open up his ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church, oh God. Oh God, I bind up discouragement, I bind up heaviness, I bind up wrong mindsets in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you, Father God. God, I thank you, Father God, that you are touching right now, God, that you are doing a work right now, a work right now, a work right now, a work right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We just come against the spirit of witchcraft. People spoke word curses over you. We break that off. Someone spoke a word curse saying that he will never prosper. We break that off in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord God, that he will go forward. In the name of Jesus, even right now, and when I look at you in the spirit, I see the roadblocks just being removed, and God is supernaturally removing the roadblocks for your behalf. In the name of Jesus, He's removing the roadblocks, and God says you're gonna go forward. You want to go forward? And God, I thank you, Lord God, for thank fresh you, fire right now. Thank for you, and God. His wife, fresh fire yes, right God. now Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And thank even you, right God. now, I see just uh, a, a covering. God, I thank you, God, that you are covering him right now from all thank demonic attacks, God. You thank are covering you, him, God, in, the sh- in your shadow of the Almighty, God. Thank you are blanketing him now with your presence. Thank you, you are Jesus. watching over him, God, with your joy. You are watching Hallelujah. over him, God, with thank your strength. Strength right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, oh God, I thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Father God, that you are touching his feet, and God's going to plant your feet right now. God, I thank you that you are ordering his footsteps, even now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your ministry will not die, but live and flourish. That's what you need to know. 
Amen. Your ministry will not die. Your ministry Amen. will take off. Your ministry Amen. will open up doors in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You're going to make it. You're going to go forward. You're going to walk in all that God has for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I feel, Amen. I feel a refreshing. Amen. I feel a refreshing coming over you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holly. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. I feel a refreshing coming over you now. In the name of Jesus. Just take a deep breath in and out. Again. Ah, uh, feels good. Again. Yes. How do you feel? Yes, Jesus, yes. I feel better. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Amen. I feel a refreshing. Oh, Jesus, thank you. It feels really good. Uh, I just want to encourage you, amen, just to keep pressing. Keep yes, pressing. Ma'am. Amen. Yes, thank you. Thank keep you pressing. So yes, ma'am. Thank you. Amen. Amen. You're welcome, man of God. Amen. All right, Coretta? Yes, ma'am. I would just like for, uh, well, for one, I just want to kind of say when you, I was uh, with a person this morning, we were walking, and we were listening to you this morning, uh, and we had just been talking about compromising Christians because a lot of Christians mm-hmm. nowadays, as we know, are compromising. And then right after that, <laughs> you said something about compromising. So I was just thinking, wow, God is really moving. But, um, you know, we just need to know that we don't need to compromise, and I know you always say different things about that. But I've seen so much of that nowadays. But what I want you yeah. to pray about is I need you to lift up my sisters. Uh, my dad has two other daughters. I need you to lift them up in prayer and also my three brothers. Amen. Father God, we just come right now and we pray, Lord, in the, in the gap for Coretta sisters and brothers, God, right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for a miracle in this family. Oh, God, we just come against the dysfunction. We come against any chaos. We come against any drugs and any addictions. We break it now in the name of Jesus. We come against any uh, uh, hardness of heart towards the things of God. We come against any sickness in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we just come against rebellion right now and any spirit of sabotage against this family. We just uproot it now at the root in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we call this household blessed. We call this household a house of peace. We call this household a house of prayer in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we come against the vision in this family. God, we seek unity in this family. We seek better communication in this family in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, Father God. Lord, for deliverance in the family and in the, in their emotions. Lord, I just come against the blame. I just see the spirit of blame. People blaming each other, blaming. Yeah. You do this. You're the reason for that. We come against the blame. Right now, we come against the finger pointing in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that each person in this family will look in the mirror, own up to their responsibilities, and cry out before you, God. And God, you do a mighty work in their hearts and even their mindsets in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we come against arguments about money oh god we pray right now that whatever is old god it is it be underneath the bridge or god i pray you work it out god i pray for forgiveness to be in this family in the name of jesus god we come against ungodly relationships lord in this family god i thank you god for deliverance in this family god i come against offenses and grudges in this family oh god i just decree and declare god lord that you're going to do a mighty work in this family oh god i pray against backsliding in this family i just come against uh hatred. I heard somebody say, I hate you or something. We come against that in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh, God, I just pray right Jesus. now, love. We seek the love. Yes. The love of God will be in this family, God, yes. in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I just come against 
Oh, God, oh, I don't know who's on all this medication, but I pray for a miracle oh, for to get yeah. delivered from this medicine, God, in the name of yeah. Jesus. Oh, God, I just yes, thank Lord. you, Father God. Lord God, for responsibility. Lord God, I come against irresponsibility in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I seek a long life right now in this family. Oh, God, I seek a long life upon each and every one of Coretta's siblings in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I pray right now, God, that they have a relationship with you in the name of Jesus. And, God, I pray a hedge of protection around this family, and I claim this family for Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus upon this family today. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, amen. I just want to encourage you, amen, amen, that God is going to move powerfully for your family because he began a good work. We'll finish it to the day of completion. All right, and God has already began a good work in your family, amen. It started from the head. It's going to go all the way down, amen. It's going to go all the way down, amen. So, God, I just thank you for this family being saved, delivered, and set free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. And I pray for uh, Prophetess um, Prophetess Joanne right now in the name of Jesus. Joan. Yes, I pray for her right now, God, and her circumstance, Lord God. I thank you, God, for a miracle in her apartment. I think that she will get approved in the name of Jesus. And I pray for everyone that need a miracle in their living conditions. I speak it now. I command it so in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you there? I am here, and um, you called out so many things in that prayer, so I know it was God, and I know uh, I know that one of my sisters says that uh, she has anxiety and other things, so I know who it is with the medication that you were seeing, and I, you know, I, it was just so much confirmation, and I just thank God, but uh, we have had some difficulties. Uh, in the past, um, and I just pray that, you know, God will do a work, um, and also I want them all to be saved, and I want them to, um, you know, and if it's anything in me that I'm doing, you know, that they're not pleased with, I want to, I want God to reveal that to me because I am the oldest, and I just want, you know, I want them to be saved, and I want to do the right thing by them. So I appreciate the prayer, and I thank God for what he's doing and what he's going to do. Amen. Give me a second. Lay a hand on your heart if you can. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, I thank you, God, that you just healed Coretta from all emotional wounds, all emotional trauma. I just feel the fire of God going in your heart. And I thank you that you're touching her now. I feel the fire of God going down in your belly. I feel the wind being released. I feel the breath of God blowing on you. Thank you, Jesus. God, I thank you, Lord, that you are touching her now, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know if you feel those winds, but I feel winds, just like Thank breath, air, winds, and just Thank the presence of God. God, I thank you for your presence, God. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Receive it, woman of God. I feel your heart. God is dealing with your issues in your heart, the manners of your heart. I feel yes, God healing. Yes, your Jesus. heart, you're going to get your joy back. Your Do a work in me. <laughs> Do a work in me, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that you are touching right now, God. Thank you, Jesus. In the Thank name of you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, Jesus. I want to be pleasing to you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank and that's you today. If you're having some emotional problems Hallelujah. today, just lay hands in your heart as a 
as a uh, active Thank phase or point of contact. Lord Jesus. You can have it too today. Amen. Lord, you don't have to leave here broken. You don't have to leave here distraught. You don't have to leave here heavy. God can touch you right now too. Amen. I, I'm laying on my bed. Not just the wind. Amen. I thank God for his word. Supernatural power hallelujah, hallelujah. to set the captives free. Glory God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I just want to invite you guys tonight. We're having a prayer call at seven. One of my students is going forth. We're going to be on the same line at 7 o'clock. Amen. Amen. So if you want prayer, if you want to hear something encouraging, amen, in your walk, call back in tonight. Amen. We're going to be on a call tonight and also tomorrow night. And I can't wait to see what the Lord does. Amen. I cannot wait. Amen. Amen. God is moving powerfully by his spirit. Amen. Yes. Um, I want you guys to go and back and listen to the replay once I post it. Amen. And get this word in your heart. Get the word yes. of God in, in your heart. Thank Amen. You, this ministry is blessing you. Go to my website and go see Prophetess uh, K.org, Cash Out Dollar Sign Prophetess Kim. We're, we're going to do some amazing things this year. We're going to plan a, another big conference where we need your support. Amen. So I'm excited about what God is doing. Amen. I love you guys. I want to see you back, at, if not tonight, at 7, at 6 o'clock tomorrow for Tongues of Fire. If not, I'll see you back at 12 for day number 7. Amen. Of praying for the mind. God bless Amen. 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 Amen.